my brothers and sisters, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. If it's your first time you come across Atalo YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our video. And don't also forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime we drop a new video, you can be notified. Thank you very much. And to our great returning subscribers, thank you also. God will bless you people. Atalo! 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 We move! My brothers and sisters, today, there is a video we saw and I decided to come and let our viewer ask to know this video. Please try and watch this video to the end. It's about a pastor. As you can see here, this is the pastor, while this other one is the woman that connects with the pastor and key the husband. When you listen to the video, you are going to find out the truth. All in the name of pastor or going to church, then you now came across evil pastor that caused all this havoc. And the court in Benin, High Court, has sentenced them to death by hanging. And to we, or to some people, it's a good decision that was taken by the court. Because anyone that key by sword must surely die by sword. That is why this video, after watching it, please also drop your comment in the comment section below so that we can also know your opinion about this video. Thank you very much. God will bless you people. Happy weekend. we see you in our next video. Thanks. God bless you. Delivering judgment, Honorable Justice Geraldine Imadik Bello heard that the woman Enobog Victor Isonguyo conspired with her pastor Prince Udoka Ukachuku to murder her husband Victor Gabriel Isonguya, who was a deputy manager, engineering department of the Nigerian Petroleum Development Company (NPDC) Benin on 29th November 2013. The court noted that having killed her husband, the woman invited her pastor and they both took the cops somewhere around Sapley Road, Benin City, where it was burnt inside the man's personal vehicle. The court observed that the late MPDC deputy manager's son gave evidence to the Fed that he heard when his father shouted, then heard footsteps, and his mother later told him that his father was sick and reacted to drugs, hence she was taking him to the hospital. Honorable Justice Imadik Bello faulted evidence of the pastor who first said he sustained the bones on his hand from hot water while trying to make tea but later opened up that he got the bones while setting the late man's vehicle ablaze. The court also heard that the police recovered the late man's official passat car from the pastor who said the woman gave him the car as gift to help her pray to find her missing husband, whereas he later said the late man gave him the car as a gift. It was the position of the court that the post-mortem report disclosed that the late man's heart region was pierced with a sharp object which suggests he was murdered before being burnt in his car beyond recognition. On the whole, the court heard that the DNA test before the court 
reveals that the pastor was 99% father of the pregnancy the woman was carrying. Hence, she conspired with the pastor to murder her husband, emphasizing that it was the pastor who led the police to the scene where the late man's body was burnt in his car. Honorable Justice Geraldine Imadegbelo accordingly convicted and sentenced Pastor Prince Udoka Ukachuku and Enobong Victor Isonguya to death by hanging. The court sentenced a mechanic, Christopher Odiasi, whom the pastor contracted to change the late man's official car to manual and documents to read his name. The sentence was one year in prison for conspiracy or a fine of 50,000 naira and two years in prison or a fine of 100,000 naira for forgery of the car documents. The court also sentenced a business center operator, Ame Osemehai, to one year imprisonment for conspiracy or a fine of 50,000 naira and two years in prison for forgery or a fine of 100,000 naira. So we just thank God that the case has finally come to an end. No matter what they do, they cannot bring my brothers back. They are really happy for the judgment. We give God the glory that uh, finally we got judgments. Ken Osaitenfi, EBS TV News.